good day everyone today we are going to estimate the utility requirement for a batch distillation process usually whenever we would like to calculate the utility requirement of a specific distillation process that to in a batch reactor we need to estimate the steam requirement steam requirement means the energy which is required to vaporize the total solvent from a batch reactor and the second requirement is going to be the utility circulation available at the condenser nothing but a, the tons of refrigeration let's make a, let's make a note of these things the requirements the first one is steam requirement at reactor and the second one is the cooling capacity requirement at condenser end let's try to estimate this using a simple case the case is batch distillation of torin in a 5 kl reactor mvc is this is 316 this is the case let's make a note of the input things like the reactor capacity it's 5 kl i'll try to consider the case of case with a occupancy of 80% occupancy is 80% toline volume so it's 80% of 5 kl it's 4 kl specific heat of torin is approx 0.45 kilo calorie per kg degree centigrade latent heat is 90 kilo calorie per kg so let's say the initial temperature is 30 degree centigrade the final temperature is nothing but the boiling point it's approx 110.6 degree centigrade now we need to estimate the heat demand from the system demand shall be calculated using the formulas mcp delta t or m lambda or sometimes with a combination of both here in this case Tolin is at 30 degree centigrade. So, in order to heat the tolin up to its boiling point, we need to use sensible heat followed by latent heat for its evaporation. The sensible heat is here. M corresponds to the mass flow rate. So. mass flow rate is nothing but volumetric flow rate multiplied with density the volume is 4 kl 4 into 1000 multiplied with density that is 0.868 multiplied with cp the specific heat it's 0.45 again multiplied with the delta t that is 110.6 minus 30 this is the total sensible heat now the latent heat the latent heat formula is m lambda so here it is 4 multiplied with 1000 multiplied with density 0.868 multiplied with the latent heat 90 kcal per kg this is the case 
here it is in kilo calorie so total heat load required is it's a combination of sensible heat as well as the latent heat so total we need an energy of 4,38,409.44 kilocalorie of energy here let's say we are going to use steam as utility why because the temperature is above 100 degrees steam will have a latent heat of 540 kilocalorie per kg at one atmosphere pressure so the total amount of steam required is 540. the total heat load divided by latent heat of steam that is 540 kilocalorie per kg so here we will be getting the total steam consumption that's nothing but around 8-12 kg of steam okay this is the steam requirement for total completion of a distillation and on the other hand we need to estimate the cooling capacity at a condenser end here the case is we need to scenario is take off the total latent heat why because condenser's role is to condense the vapor that means removal of the latent heat total latent heat that's nothing but 3 lakhs 12,480 kilocalorie Now we need to estimate the cooling capacity and this will be in TRs that is the tons of refrigeration. Ton of refrigeration shall be elaborated as the amount of energy required. I will try to type it here for better understanding. TR is nothing but tons of refrigeration. So it can be defined as amount of energy required to freeze one ton of water at zero degree centigrade in 24 hours of time. Okay, so it's a time frame. It's uh, it's going to have a time frame. So here in this case. We need to estimate the cooling capacity. The conversion for TR is 1 TR equals to 3024 kilocalorie of energy. Okay, here in this case, we got our total energy and we need to convert this into TRs. So we'll just try to divide this with 3024 kilocalories. That means we need total of 103.3 tier, it's approx 104 tier. But coming to the practical case, a condenser is going to perform sensible heat transfer also. That is, the vapor is going to reach at 110.6 degrees centigrade. And after immediate condensation, the temperature of the liquid is going to be at 110.6 degrees only. Since it is in hot condition and the utility will be in cooling condition, 
the condenser will also perform the sensible heat exchange so to compensate that i will be taking approx 30% of a total tr as excess the practical tr required is 103 multiplied by 1.3 it's almost 135 tr required to condense approx 4 kg of toluene this is how we need to estimate the utility requirement for a given batch process if you like our video please subscribe and also you can download our apps on play store which are available for free you can search them using the keyword pharma engineering so we got total two calculators two apps one is the general app to browse our content and the second one is the calculators which will be having some automated calculators almost a set of 15 calculators so thanks for watching our video